Okay, can we get the players and umpires to line up here so we can start with the team introductions? All right, all right. So here we go, starting with the 4X team playing in blue here this afternoon. At number one, we got Nico van Veek. At number two in the orange helmet, watch out for this man, Hati van Veek. And at the number three in the green helmet, the main man, Murray Spark. And holding the back ball, Stephen Stewart. Heading over to the opposition team playing in red. At number one, the talented youngster, Charlie Dewar. At number two, all the way from the Free State, Ricka Silas. And at the number three position, we have Brad Mallet. And holding the back door, the big hitter, Gareth Evans. Everyone, get behind your team, cheer them on. We are now, so, umpire Steve, he lines them up, he pulls the ball in, into the chaos it goes. Who's going to come out with it? Looks like four Oaks hustling hard here. Yeah. Pops out to Van Veik. Ah, to Van Veik, he gets it going, but Brad Mallet takes him out. Mallet opens up the backhand, sends it back into the pack, yeah. Left for Murray Spark, he runs over the top. Gareth Evans sends Rickus now. He's on his way down along the boards, right up here in front of the clubhouse. He runs over the top, in comes Stephen Stewart. Stewart had a little backhand. But is that main for Spotswood? Gareth Evans, Evans getting going down. And there you go, the first whistle of this afternoon. Four Oaks, yeah, now with a chance to breathe. Can they get things going off on their own back line? It's going to be that main man, Stephen Stewart, now to bring it in. Stephen, where's he going to go? He lines up for the big neck shot, sends it down. Trying to find Van Veek out there in front. Van Veek taken out there by Gareth Evans. He runs over it. Sent behind now by Brad Mallet. It's got... Gareth Evans on the attack, he's up on the 60-yard line, he runs over the top, in comes Ati van Veik with a beautiful open backhand now, sending four Oaks on the attack here now. Charlie Dewey decides to take it towards the boards here now, lines up for the tail shot, sending Spotswood on the attack. They're sitting here in the danger zone, but looks like four Oaks is putting the pressure back up onto them. Van Veik running down the ground, he's got Charlie to deal with, yeah, Charlie Dewey up on the halfway line. Up on the boards, not an easy task to get your mallet between the boards and the board. In comes Spotswood, Spotswood. Trying to gain control position of the ball. You don't want to just be hitting it away to the opposition team when you've gained that control. As Brad Mallet, yeah, trying to burn it around the outside. He leaves it behind for Gareth Evans. Evans sends a big ball down there, trying to find Rickus Sillis. Rickus, he's up on the board, yeah, from the free state. Talented youngster, check it out, stick word. Up, up, and out of play it goes. So, when the ball goes out of play, you see the umpire counts down eight seconds and the other team that didn't hit it out, in this case, Four Oaks, get a basically a knock in after eight seconds. So, the other team has to be 30 yards away, plays the call. Steven Stewart hits it down, trying to find Antje van Veek. Van Veek kicking, kicking the ball forwards with his horse. In comes Charlie Dewar, Dewar trying to hit a little tail shot. Didn't get hold of that one, in comes Van Veek and we're gonna have another whistle here now in this first chucker as Gareth Evans brings it in here for Spotswood he sends one down along the ground to the halfway line for Brad Mallet Mallet where's he gonna go Gareth Evans waiting for the pass he delivers a beauty one down up onto the 60 yard line it's Gareth Evans ladies and gentlemen he's tap 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 hooked out of it there by Van Veek ball still in play sits down Nico trying to turn up onto it but it's rolled over the back line here now settling it down so there's still plenty of nerves out there, ladies and gentlemen, these players are feeling each other out, trying to see what, what, but most of them are saving their horses, their best horses for probably the last two chuckers. So you'll see them, they bring one or two good horses on now, play their ones, and then it's just going to get faster and faster throughout this afternoon here. Yeah. As Murray Spark runs up onto it, leaves it there for Stephen Stewart. Stewart delivers a big ball down there now. It's Murray Spark in that green helmet. Gareth Evans is for Spotswoods, marking and defending it. He hits a nice lie, lofting shot, but it's gone off onto the right-hand side. Is it going to stay in play? Murray Spark lets it roll up and over the back line it goes. So here we go, Spotswood now. Playing in red here this afternoon, got a back line hit. Still no goal scored here. Surprisingly, but that's what you get for a final match here. Two of the best teams battling it out 
for the South African Championship Polo Open. And here we go, back in the play. It's Murray Spark coming down that line, but left behind here now for Ati van Veik. Here's van Veik. He's got it looking good. He's switched it over to the near side. Tap, tap, tap on the near side. Van Veik puts it in. They swap sides here now. Spotswood left to right. Two of the Spotswood team members coming up onto fresh horses here. As Murray Spark leaves it behind there for Van Veik. Nico, he hits it down there trying to find Stephen Stewart. Stewart, he's got the goalpost in between his eyes. Drills a little neck shot down up onto the 40-yard line. Leaves it there for Brad Mallet. Brad Mallet turns it around up to Gareth Evans. Gareth Evans, graining composition here now, and he checks up, slows the ball down, giving some time for his players to get down for a pass. There you go, Gareth Evans sends one down. Rickus, the youngster, comes up onto it, hooked out there by Murray Spark. Spark hustling it hard here now as Van Veik settles up onto it. Bounces there now for Charlie. Charlie called off by Gareth Evans. Evans, he's putting the pedal to the middle here. Riding up on the 60-yard line. He's looking for the foul. No whistle gone yet. In comes Van Veik. Van Veik clearing out a nice, beautiful backhand there now. Rickus, he lines up for the open shot, trying to get his team back on the attack here now. But it looks like four oaks. It's Murray Spark have got different things on the clock here. Murray Spark reaching out far and wide. Trying to get that ball in the air. Not an easy task. They say it's like trying to play golf in an earthquake out there, running at 80 k's an hour, trying to hit a little white ball, not an easy task. As Gareth Evans here now, he's got the goalpost right up in front of him, but in comes Nico, steals it away now, and as Murray Spark, which pony's going to turn first? It's Evans on the near side, leaves it behind again now. The Van Veik boys are pushing hard, trying to get four oaks down the ground again here now, spots wood. Lines it up for the defending shot. Yes, Brad Mallet comes in on the near side. Takes it forwards. Dangerous play here by him, but he's nobody coming down the line, so he's going to take his time and turn it around. Brad Mallet getting going down the ground here now. Still Brad Mallet. He knocks one up now to Charlie Dewar. Charlie on the attack here. There's not much left on the clock. Can he get it going before the end of this first trucker? Charlie Dewar, ladies and gentlemen, is up on the 40-yard line. Taps it up in the air. It's sitting still for Brad Mallet. He taps, taps, taps. Brad Mallet, ladies and gentlemen, finishes it off for Spotswood. And just like that is one goal apiece here at the end of trucker number one. Why do we shape today for tomorrow? Because when we build, we build for generations to come. 180 years of experience, innovation, and sustainable solutions have put Lafarge South Africa at the forefront of green building technology. But what does that mean for our future? It means leading the way with the development of low carbon building materials like EcoPact Green Concrete and EcoPlanet Green Cement it means using groundbreaking technology like 3D printing to construct affordable housing and schools in record time. But innovation isn't just about what we do. It's also about why we do it. Lafarge is not just getting faster. We're also getting smarter by developing digital tools that provide quicker and more convenient ways to connect with our customers while optimizing our efficiencies using robotics artificial intelligence, predictive processes, and new approaches to logistics and manufacturing. We innovate to empower society by redefining the way cities are built. We are sustainably improving living standards within local communities. Lafarge is creating new ways to build better infrastructure so that people can build better lives. Across Africa and beyond, our innovation is building nations that are greener, smarter, and better. Lafarge, shape the future. Boys have got the real horsepower here today. So here we are, start of track at number two, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Four Oaks wins the line out. Murray Spark again. Back up onto it. He's up on the boards here now. Lines up for the big neck shot. He sent it down into the red zone. This ball's got eyes. It's rolling all the way for Four Oaks. In comes Spotswood. Rick is on the near side to save the day. Backhand play there by Four Oaks now. But it looks like it's up and over the back line it goes. Exciting stuff here. As Gareth Evans now brings it in. 
Evans opens up the shoulder. Look at that beautiful shot there, sending it straight there to Rickus. Rickus Sicilis in the house. But here comes Brad Mallet out the back door. It's Mallet here. He's on the attack. He's on the 20. He's tapping it. It's Brad Mallet, ladies and gentlemen. Puts it in for Spotswood. Just like that, they up by one goals, two goals to one here now in chucker number two. That's going to be in of chucker number two, my bro. Two goals to one, yeah. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the start of chucker number three here. Two goals to one. Not a very high score, half score match because these players are battling it out here now. Spotswood brings it in. Gareth Evans hits one's up here onto the board, right in front of the spectators. First class view we got here, ladies and gentlemen. Evans lines up the shoulder, sends one down there, but straight to the man, Van Veik. For Four Oaks. Four Oaks hitting a little tail shot there, sending it up to Murray Sparks off the line of the ball. Then comes Gareth Evans. Evans sends a big cracker shot down onto the right-hand side. It goes and up and out of play. Unfortunate to that. As here we go, Van Veik, he's cantering up to the ball. He drops the hammer, hands it over onto the right-hand side. Yeah, now Spotswood. Gonna put the pressure on you. It's Charlie Dewar. He's on the breakaway, but unfortunately the umpires aren't gonna let him have that one. So here we go. Looks like Nico von Vakian to take this one again. We've got five and a half minutes remaining here in this third trucker. Still a close match on our hands here. Can Van Vake bring this to a two-goal piece match here? Nico van Veek sends it straight between the pace. Left to right, no goal. You want to keep it in between those posts there. But easy chance. They took full advantage of that penalty there. So here we are. Back into the chaos of the center of the field. Looks like Spotswood's winning that line out. Yeah, it's Gareth Evans. Evans on the ball. He hits it bouncing, gets him to it. But here comes Murray Spock. Can he make some attack happen? He takes it out the air. Great hand out coordination. Can he do it again three times? Windmill it down. In comes Ati van Veik. Van Veik stolen away from Gareth Evans now. The two boys are working together. Here comes Murray Spark. He's sparking it up. He left behind. And we have a whistle. So here we go, lucky break. No, for sure, you've got three hectares out there. Plenty of space for these players to run around the field. 300 meters by 180 watts. So they've got a lot of square meters out there to run on. As looks like Spotswood's got the attack back up here. It's Gareth Evans on the near side. He hits the next shot, puts it in for Spotswood. As we back in the center here now, who's winning this line out? Looks like Spotswood hits it back there now. Rick Silas on the ball. He's been hooked out of it by Steven Stewart. Let me behind for Fun Fake. Fun Fake with a beautiful open backhand there now. But that youngster, Charlie Dewar, he returns one back to the pack. Yeah, Steven Stewart looking behind him. Where's his players at? Decides to send it to the center of the field here now for Ati. Ati Fun Fake. He's on the center here, runs it over. In comes Gareth Evans settling up on that bouncing ball. Turns it around, check that pony, whip itself around. Now we go, Brad Mallet looking for the pass along there with Rickers. It's still Gareth Evans taking his time, looking there, he sees Charlie. He's open here now, he's gonna try to put the cut shot in. Can he send it all the way to goalpost? He taps it once, taps it twice. Steven Stewart's there to push him off. Tap, tap, it's Charlie Dewar up the air, leaves it behind, the talented youngster. What a run to goal. He's got back up onto it yeah, now. He sends the open backhand into the red zone. It goes, spots with players. They've got the opportunity here. That's Brad Mallet. Can Mallet finish it off on the steer side? He leaves it behind. All happening for spots with there, but they just can't find the posts. As is backed in again by Gareth Evans. Now Rickus, he's going to have a go. Rickus got himself there, trying for the near side deck shot. He going to have a whistle here now, sir. Is atmospheric water generating technology extracts humidity from the air, which is condensed, filtered, and then processed through an additional multi step filtration sterilization system, thus producing purified water with no chemicals added. Aqua Air has commissioned the construction of a water plant which will produce atmospheric water on a large scale in South Africa. It is the first of its kind in Africa.
So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the start of tracker number four here. Three goals apiece. It's exciting stuff here, nail biting. It's going to be like this till the end. I've got a feeling as the players are back on you, it's Rickers on the ball. Up against Murray, they stash the kicks together. In comes Brad Mallet. Mallet taking it up to the far side of the field. Left it behind for Charlie Dewar. Charlie's been having a great game here this afternoon. As Four Oaks trying to put the attack on here now. It's getting a little bit scrappy on the south side there, but looks like Four Oaks still in control. Big ride off between the two of Gareth Evans and them. Gareth Evans knocking out of forwards, trying to find Brad Mallet. Mallet swoops over onto the near side. He leaves it behind. Backhand out there by Stephen Stewart. Picked up here now by Charlie Dewar. Called off by Gareth Evans. Evans with a big shot here now, right up into the goal post. Looks like Van Vake's going to have to defend here. Call off by Stephen Stewart. Stewart replies with a beautiful open backhand to get that out the goal mouth. Quick turnaround here now for Four Oaks. Gareth Evans, the danger man. Where's he going to go? He decides to go to the left and then right. Look at this pony. He's on here now. He's going to put the pedal to the middle. It's Gareth Evans. He's right up in front of the goalpost for the cut shot. Evans beaten by that bouncing ball. In comes Rickers on the near side. Charlie Dewar. Can he finish it off? It's in the hole. Here comes Brad Mallet. Stopped by Murray Spark. What incredible stuff's happening in that goalpost right here now. I don't even know what to say, but here comes Brad Mallet. He's up on the boards here. He's going to try to send it back. He's trying to turn it there on the boards. They settle up onto there now. Four Oaks got position here. Now it's Van Vake. Van Vake, he's trying to get it going down the ground. In comes Rickus. Rickus takes it out the air for Spotswood. Turning around now, the Spotswood boys in red. Brad Mallet leaves it behind there for Gareth Evans. Evans, he goes off onto the right hand side here, trying to deliver the ball back up into the center again. Evans slowing it down, then speeding things up. He's trying to confuse the Four Oaks boys here. And it's still Evans. He's on the 40-yard line now. He's got the cold post on his left-hand side. Evans got blue players all around him. He's still dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. Tap, tap, tap. Can Spotswood finish this off? The ball's right there. Backed out again. Yeah, by four oaks and up and out of play it goes. You can kind of tell when a team's on a lot mounted, better mounted horses. They keep putting the attack on more. But so far, these horses have all been equaled out here. Majority of them all coming off the racetrack. They get trained for two, three years when they're about four years old. So they start playing their professional career at about six, seven years old, upwards until at least 20 years. So here we go, Gareth Evans with the long range of shot from the 80 yard line. Ball up and try to get it high up in the sky as possible. So here we go, line out again. Looks like Four Oaks winning this one. Yeah, now it's Fun Fake. He's out in front. Charlie Dewar hooks him out of it. It's still Fun Fake though. Tap, tap, tapping it. In comes Murray Spark, taken out there by. Gareth Evans now, but Ati van Veik hits one through. Murray Spock trying to keep this one into play. Yeah, now it's sitting in the goal mouth. It's Rickus. Rickus takes it out right up in front of his goal post. Yeah, for Spotswood. Rickus Silas. Big right up between Van Veik and him now. Runs over the top. In comes Charlie. He takes it on the near side. Yeah, now it's Charlie Dewar. He picks up the whistle as well. Right here in front of the clubhouse. Gareth Evans, yeah, he's going to be taking this one. He just scored one here on the other side of the field yeah. so he's pretty zoned in here this afternoon. As he canters around here now. Gareth Evans lines it up, he's trying to get that high lofting shot. This ball could go all the way here for Spotswood. Stop again by Four Oaks. That main man, Stephen Stewart, but it looks like the umpires are blowing it up again, yeah. So if you notice, we've got two players out there. They all got their radios on. Is that alongside there? We've got a third man as well. So if the umpires agree to disagree, they'll give him a, a shout to ask him because he's probably got a better view from the side here in the perch. And so plenty of hours watching the match here. So the umpires are all very kitted out as well in this modern time of age. So here we go. Backline hit here now for four Oaks. Four goals to three. Yeah, they find themselves one goal. Down here, we've still got four minutes remaining in this fourth chucker as the ball's put back into play here now. Spotswood quickly up onto it, picked up again here by Steven Stewart. Stewart knocked it up there for Van Veik. Nico trying to hustle it, hustle it, gets it over onto the near side again. Picked up here now by Evans for Spotswood. Getting a little bit messy again here, but they're going to get control as Evans sends one down along the ground, but there's nothing but blue players there waiting for it.
In comes Van Veek, opens the call, sends it back. Who's turning first? Looks like that man, Murray Spock. He's been quiet all afternoon, but here he goes. He's out in front. Murray Spock, ladies and gentlemen, in that green helmet. He's got Pat Manet pushing hard. Bouncing ball gets him. Here comes Evans. Evans sends it out onto the left-hand side here now. Stephen Stewart coming in hot, plays the open backhand. It's looking good here for Four Oaks. Can they gain possession again? Picked up by Evans. Evans, new line of the ball here now. Spotswood, three players out in front. Can they capitalize? Yes, Evans with a big high lofting shot here. The approach is looking good. It's Brad Mellon. He's on the wild goose chase. He's going towards goal. It's Brad Mellon, ladies and gentlemen. He sets it up. Oh, one more little cut shot. Brad Mellon. Oh. Back here now. So some action's going to happen for sure. As it's back onto the far side, Brad Mallet runs over the top. Here we go, Murray Spark. We need to get him going. Once he goes, the rest will follow. In comes Van Veek. Van Veek left it behind there now. Gareth Evans, that man, he knows how to slow a game down and gain control. And all the right calls he's called off there by Brad Mallet. Mallet now on the attack again. He's got Rickers down in front. Can he put the pass through? Yes, he can. As Rickers out in front, tap, tap, tap. He takes a bouncy ball. Rickers, ladies and gentlemen, takes it out the air, puts it in the post as well. Spotswood back up on the boards. Yeah, five goals to four with one and a half minutes remaining in jacket number four. So yeah, we are back into the game we go and as we started off again, we have another whistle here. The umpires are definitely on top of it here today. Telling these players, we aren't going to let you guys get away with anything. You got to play to the book. And looks like this one's been given here now to Four Oaks. And that man, Stephen, Stephen Stewart's going to be uh, teeing it up. Looks like we've got 36 seconds remaining here in this fourth chucker. So still enough time on the clock there to hopefully get a goal in. And here we go. Stephen Stewart. Local Benoni boy. I mean, Pretoria boy, sorry. He sends one up for Murray Spock. Spock picks it up out the air now. This is looking good for Four Oaks. There goes the full first ball. 30 seconds on the clock. In comes Van Veeg. Tap, 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 tap. Van Veeg for Four Oaks. Puts it in. Just like that, five goals to four here now at the end of jacket number four. Oyeni is a Nigerian urban lifestyle brand that makes durable sneakers, boxes, socks, slides, polo apparel such as polo boots, gloves, belts, and knee guards. We are located at 6 for Depo Close, Favors area, New Bodhijai Park. You can reach us on social media platforms at Oyeni Brand. For others, call or message us via WhatsApp on plus 234-7088-234-705. We deliver across Nigeria and internationally. Oyeni, you deserve it. It's going to be uh, right here in front of you guys in the next seven minutes. Here we go, Rick, as he had a little breakaway out the line out there, but hooked out of it. In comes little little fart, Spotswood. Spotswood for Gareth Evans. Evans up against Murray Spark. It's Spark. Sparky turning it around here now. Getting it going. Sticks all up in the air, and we have another whistle here now. So here we go. Gareth Evans keeping his players close, telling them, boys, this one's coming down the ground. Best you get running. Yeah, we go. Gareth Evans, he's back on that favorite chestnut pony of his. He lets that wild lofting shot down the ground. Can this ball go all the way? It's Gareth Evans, ladies and gentlemen. Puts it in the post. It's rolling, rolling on the line. No one can finish it off. Yes, they can. Spotswood finishes it off just like that. Teams are getting fired up here. They know there's not much left in this game. Six and a half minutes here. We've got another whistle in the lineup. Both these two teams battling it out in the lineup. Yeah, you can tell it's tough. Here we go. Stewart sends one down along the ground there. Who's running up onto it? Looks like Van Veek. Van Veek locked out of it there by Spotswood, but picked up here by Murray Spark. It's Spark, the danger man. He's tapping, tapping. He's running hard. It's Murray Spark, ladies and gentlemen. Puts it in for Fox. A back up on the board here now. Center we go. Whose team coming out with it? Yeah, looks like it's popping for Four Oaks again. Four Oaks knocks it up down the ground. It's Murray Spark. He's got the crowd behind him. He's hooked out of it. It's up on the boards here now. 
for Four Oaks, still selling it up onto it is Nico van Veek. Van Veek, he's left it behind. He is going to turn around and get back in control of it. In comes Gareth Evans with that chestnut pony trying to get things going. In comes Rickers. He sends it up to Brad Mallet. That's Mallet here now. He's got the attack going. Rickers runs over the top left for Charlie Dewey. Dewey puts one down the ground there now trying to find Brad Mallet. That's Stephen Stewart. He's going to have to defend here for Four Oaks. They both run over the top. In comes Van Veek. Ati. Settles it, ball down on the ground here now. He's going to put the attack on 4-4 Oaks here now. He's back to back. He's running down the ground. He's got some speed. Charlie's pushing hard. He's got some speed as well. In comes Van Veek, runs over the top. Left it behind as Ati now. Ati Van Veek taking his time here. 4-4 Oaks trying to burn them around the front. Runs over the top. In comes Stephen Stewart. Beautiful backhand there by Rickus. But there's no one at the back door. But that man, Murray Spark, Spark, he sends it back, trying to find Van Veek, Van Veek, beautiful shot here now, finding Ati, he's out in front, there's two players now, 4-4 Oaks, can they bring this back to a six goal piece match, it's Ati Van Veek, ladies and gentlemen, in that number two jersey, he's got an open goal, one more little neck shot, can he do it, Van Veek runs it across the goal mouth, over the back line it goes, Super tricky when you think you got all the time in the world by yourself. That should be the easy time, but I tell you now, that's when it's the hardest. As looks like the players are going on some fresh horses there. Bring it in here now. It looks like Gareth Evans wastes no time. Sends a big long ball along the ground there. Brad Mallet picking up the line of the ball. He runs past it. In comes Van Veek, open backhand, but picked up Yana Barikas. The Lati from Free State, he's got the pedal to the middle. He's going towards the goal, reaching out, blue players all around him. In comes Charlie. Brad Mallet settles up for spot with Yana, but Four Oaks gaining position again. Is that man in the orange helmet, Ati Van Veek, Van Veek. Beautiful tail shot there, trying to find Stephen Stewart. Stewart up against Brad Mallet, the sticks clash together. In comes Gareth Evans, leaves it behind for Charlie. Charlie Dewar with a beautiful tail shot there, trying to find Rickus. Silas, Rickus, couldn't get down the line of the ball, but run past by Van Veek. Ati, Ati now, on the ball here, right up in front of the path. Gareth Evans trying to have it goaded, but in comes Stephen Stewart now. Stewart going up, and we have a whistle here now in favor of Four Oaks to bring this one back to a six-piece match, and it's going to be that man, Niku Van Veek, to take this penalty for 60-yard shot defended at goal. Nico van Veek with that high lofting shot, but he's pushed it off to the right hand side it goes. No great opportunity here for Four Oaks to put in another goal. It's Steven Stewart. He fires one down the crowd there, but picked up by Charlie Dewar. Gareth Smiths have to defend hard here now, but it's still Four Oaks in position of the ball here now. In comes Steven Stewart. It's Stewart. He's coming on. The tax looking good here for Four Oaks. Gareth Evans knocking it up and over his back line. So here we go. Safety 60. Bring the ball back on the 60-yard line for Oaks with another opportunity to bring this match back to a draw. Spotswood finding themselves on the pack line. Yeah, it's that man, Gareth Evans. He brings it in. He goes off onto the left-hand side. Evans comes in. Big sticks clash together. Yeah, now it's for Oaks putting the attack on again, but still looks like Brad Mallet comes out with this one. Steven Stewart coming in there. He has the line for the open backhand. He sends it back. Yeah, now for Murray Spark. It's Murray Spark. He locks his ones. Yeah, right in front of goal. Tap, 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 tap. Murray Spark. You biscuit, get out of here. Six goals up. Next goal's definitely going to win. Who's popping out with it? It's on the side for Spotswood. It's Rick Casillas out in front here now. He's got the broad shot. It's looking good. Steven Stewart scattering back. Switches it over to the near side. In comes Brad Malady. Takes it out. 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah, Billy shot towards goal. Spotswood just missing out there. In comes Four Oaks now. Putting the defense into attack. It's that man, Ati Van Veek. Van Veek, he leaves it behind. Here comes his put, trying to reach it out. Murray, he takes it out the air. Spark, he's on the go, yeah. It's Murray Spark, ladies and gentlemen. Misses it out. In comes Steven Stewart. Sitting down now. In comes Van Veek on the near side. He knocks it forwards. Here comes Four Oaks. They're hunting the goals. They want this one badly. And that's going to sound the end of this chucker, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together. Why do we shape today for tomorrow? Because when we build, we build for generations to come. 180 years of experience, innovation, and sustainable solutions have put Lafarge South Africa at the forefront of green building technology. But what does that mean for our future? 
It means leading the way with the development of low-carbon building materials like EcoPact Green Concrete and EcoPlanet Green Cement. It means using groundbreaking technology like 3D printing to construct affordable housing and schools in record time. But innovation isn't just about what we do. It's also about why we do it. Lafarge is not just getting faster, we're also getting smarter by developing digital tools that provide quicker and more convenient ways to connect with our customers, while optimizing our efficiencies using robotics, artificial intelligence, predictive processes, and new approaches to logistics and manufacturing. We innovate to empower society by redefining the way cities are built we are sustainably improving living standards within local communities. Lafarge is creating new ways to build better infrastructure so that people can build better lives. Across Africa and beyond, our innovation is building nations that are greener, smarter and better. Lafarge, shape the future. Alright, so here we go, golden goal, the ball's balled in, get behind your team, ladies and gentlemen, yeah they are, who's going to come out with this goal? In comes Spotswood, they put in the position of the lineout, Stephen Stewart hits it down on the near side, picked up here now by Van Vake. it's IT Van Vake. is he on the breakaway? No, the ball gets him, but we have a whistle as well, that's going to settle it down, that big launcher here right now. Here we go, he lines up the shoulder, dropping the hammer, plays a little short one to himself. Van Veek, he's waiting for that, he claims the new line of the ball here now. In comes Gareth Evans, he steals it back for him, no whistle, no harm. In comes Evans, here we go, looking good. Van Veek, he steals his stick away from the six goaler. In comes Brad Maladin, we've got a whistle here now. So here we go, it's that man, Steven Stewart, here in the house in the number four jersey. He cranks the shoulders, he sends it down to Van Veek. Van Veek. Running up onto it, picked up here now by Steven Stewart. Everybody looks like they're running over it, but here comes Murray Spark. Spark puts it down for Four Oaks here. Is this a golden goal we're looking for? Four Oaks are pushing hard. In comes Brad Mallet. Brad Mallet plays the tail hand back, trying to find Gary Evans. It's Evans out in front yet. Now he's got two blue players chasing him. Murray Spark has to put the hook in here now, but it's Gary Evans who unfortunately knocks it up and out of play it goes. And here we go. It's a gack in the game. We go. Steven Stewart knocks it forwards, trying to find Ati van Veek. Van Veek, he's still looking for the ball. It's under his belly. In comes Nico. Nico leaves it behind for Steven Stewart. Stewart plays the pulls the tail shot. In comes Brad Mallet. Brad Mallet knocking it up onto that far side of the field there. Now he's going to have to check up here on the boards. Van Veek, he has a go at it on the near side. Not an easy task there now. They're all sitting around looking who's got the ball. Looks like it's been knocked up and out of it. And here we go, Brad Mallet. He's up in it, yeah, big right up between the two of them. In comes Gareth Evans, but looks like we have a whistle here. Murray Spark, so it takes many hours to try to get them built up. If you look at them, their rear ends and that are all looking tip form. That's where all the engine comes from, so you got to feed them up, train them just like a pro athlete, soccer player, anybody. It's all about the lifestyle. So here we are, big lofting shot down the ground for Four Oaks. Can they make this happen here? Murray Spark delivered one in there. Picked up here now by Spotswood. Spotswood leaves it behind for Murray Spark. It's that danger, man. Can the Sparky boy finish it off? Murray Spark with the half shot, neck shot, ladies and gentlemen, score! Murray Spark puts it in for the win, and her. Four Oaks coming out on top, taking the South African Polo Championship 2022. Can you believe it? What a game! The Oyeni is a Nigerian urban lifestyle brand that makes durable sneakers, boxes, socks, slides, polo apparel such as polo boots, gloves, belts, and knee guards. We are located at 6 for Deku Close, Favors Area, New Bodhijai Park. You can reach us on social media platforms at Oyeni Brand. For others, call or message us via WhatsApp on plus 234-7088-234-705. We deliver across Nigeria and internationally. Oyeni, you deserve it.